This one is a calendar issue. I updated Microsoft 365 yesterday and now a calendar that is shared with me is blank. So let me tell you right now, every time you update a Microsoft 365 product and let's say you have lost your local inbox which is supposed to be offline, which is called the OST file. And if it hasn't been created, or let's say it's been deleted for some reason, in this case, it could happen if you update or reinstall Microsoft 365 app on your computer. The first time you log into Outlook, it has to resync everything that is stored on the cloud, meaning that it has to re-download your inbox, which is your .ost file and it has to also sync your calendar items so let's say you have a lot of calendar items i've seen this issue where you just have to simply give it time to sync everything that is there i still see the calendar in my list but none of the appointments are showing yeah that's just typical all the appointments especially if it's a shared calendar so let's say you are an admin assistant of some sort and you are basically creating calendar items on behalf of somebody or simply there is a shared calendar that you do work with then yeah it will take time for it to sync up because it's not necessarily just you that has all this information but the other people that are also sharing and this stuff just takes time to sync up all right let me just let me just open up outlook here to show you kinda i don't have a syncing issue on my calendar but just to show you that this could happen. So in this case, you can see that this person has two inboxes and their login is two different people. It's not necessarily unusual if you are like an admin assistant, you may have this ability. But in this case, let's look at Adele, let's select Adele's inbox here. And there are stuff in here, but there are very few things. And usually if there is an asyncing issue, on the bottom here somewhere, I want to say like right about here, it will tell you that it's still syncing, that it's either in downloading your inbox and your calendar items. So it's going to take a while for it to sync. So let's go to calendar right away. Here is the calendar. You can see that Adele has a couple of different calendars in here. Let's kind of stretch this out just so we can see. And she can see other shared calendars, which are right down here. And one of the issues could be yeah, I can see it, but I don't see it on the right hand side over here. Well, maybe the issue is, let me just change it to weeks here so it's more apparent. You can see there are other calendars that you can see which are shared, but if you haven't necessarily selected them, they may not even show up. So just make sure that that's not the issue. Make sure that it's the check mark is there. So that way you can see all these other ones. You see how it's populating? You can see how it's populating. We can. You just make sure that this is checked just because you see it doesn't mean that you're reviewing it and for those reasons make sure it's checked otherwise it's just simply a you know syncing issue it may take a while for it to show up let me uncheck all of this type of stuff here i'm going to uncheck all of these other teams groups so right now i'm just viewing my own calendar it says my calendar here my calendar and you can see it's just for Bob but if I select this one here where it's for shared calendar just is for Adele select that you see how it just pops in right away and you can change the view right here or how you want it to show and it's the same difference just make sure it's checked here or it's a syncing issue where you just have to wait for it to sync all right let's go to the web version of that real quick here is the outlook and in this case I am only signed in as Adele let me just update my password here real quick I'm only signing here as Adele so we're only going to see what she sees and not Bob here is the two-factor authentication that I'm getting the ping you heard is from my two-factor authenticator on my phone and I'm just going to use that code again these are fictional people don't worry I'm not worried about personal information being released here because this is only this is for training purposes only. All right. So this is the online version of that. So this is Adele only. We're not going to see anything from Bob. Select calendar over here. And here it is. Same difference. She won't see any other shared calendars unless they're checked. In this case, you can see that this one is checked, which is fine. So only here, seeing only hers. But in order to see the other one, or group ones, 
you have to select the group calendar you have to select the, this one here which is deployment team right now you really don't see much but if i selected the split i can see the deployment team's calendar and my own on the right side i can change it to month and now i can see a little bit of more of what is shared which is more apparent so if i uncheck this shared one you can see it disappears right but if i check it again you can see that it comes back up again just make sure it's not a syncing issue this is a web version this is why it works instantly because it's web version it's already on the cloud the web is on the cloud right this is why it works like that okay minimize action and let's go back to our ticket for this reply i'm going to say it may take a bit of time time for calendar to sync i didn't spell that right okay the sync with outlook app that is installed on the computer because it needs to download a local copy of the inbox and the calendar Let's see otherwise make sure when viewing your calendar that it is selected with a check mark sure let's leave it at that okay all right that is that and of course if, if you are you know doing this for somebody you just have to take control of their computer and just do it